everybody has their own way of doing things when it comes to drum brakes, uh, installing the shoes. Now, some people uh, build the whole primary, secondary shoes with the self adjuster, everything on it, and put it up all together. Um, some people start with the front shoe, the you know the, the primary shoe. Some people start with the secondary shoe. I've over the years on this particular case, I kind of start with the secondary shoe. Now the only thing I have to remember is that that parking brake lever, you have to install that, you have to put this in into the hole there and then use a new pin that they gave us, a little C-clip to hold that in place. So once I get that in place here, once I get that in place, now, remember I've got all my backing plate all lubed up, so now what I'm going to do is I just hook that lever there, make sure the wheel cylinders, you get them, the pins in there from the wheel cylinders, and we don't want to miss that. Then once I get that shoe in there, I get my, my nail here and push it through the backing plate, and now I'm ready to put that hold down spring in with that special tool I use to take it all apart. So once I get the, the secondary shoe on, now what I'm going to do is do the hold down pin. So remember that, that hold down nail or pin, whatever you want to call it, the retaining spring holds it on. So now I have to put it on with that special tool I use to take it off. Just kind of hold it like that, slide it on here. Now this is where I have to kind of find where that slot is when I put it on. There we go. Now that we have the secondary shoe on, now we can build from there. Now, this right here is the parking brake pawl, the, the lever that goes across. What happens is when we apply the parking brake, this transfers the, because the, this secondary shoe gets applied by that lever, but this will, this will push that, that that energy over to the front shoe so you have both shoes apply when you apply the parking brake. Now they did give us a new spring for this so we're going to go ahead and replace that spring too right away. So this we just kind of drop right in place right here. Okay and just leave it sit right here. Now the self adjusters, we're not going to replace the self adjusters because they do actually work very well. They turn very very easily. So what we're going to do is just clean them all up and lube them up and then put those in next. Self adjuster is all cleaned up, turns real easy, lubed everything up really nicely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide that self adjuster in the bottom. Now this spring right here, this, this blue one right here, this actually can go on either way. <laughs> I've seen this mistake being made before. You have to put it on this way so that you can, the clearance so that you can actually turn the self adjuster, which is being adjusted by that arm sticking down there. So if I mount it like this correctly, that star wheel can turn very easily. If I mount it by like this by mistake, like I've seen many times, then this, it, it'll hold so much pressure that the star wheel will not turn, your brakes will never self adjust. So make sure you put it in like this, okay? So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide this part in and I'm going to put the primary shoe on really about the same time. So, so watch how I do this. Put the self adjuster in. Put the spring on. Hook it to my other, my, my primary shoe here and kind of using a little bit of a lever action here. There. So now as you can see, now I have to make sure that not only does my wheel cylinder fit in a groove, but also that parking pole here that goes in there also. So that's where I have to pay quite attention here. Make sure that that slides in. Make sure that this is lined up. It should slide in there pretty easily. Once I have that in, now what I'm going to do is put my hold down my hold down springs back on. Let me put my safety glasses back on here. 
Now that we have the hold down springs on, now we have to put the return springs back on. Remember, this is the one where if you don't know where they go, go look on the other side or look on your camera you just took the picture of earlier. But in this case right here, we have a short one and we have a longer one. The short one's gonna go on this side because it only has to go up to this point right here. This one I know for a fact has to go all the way up to that anchoring pin. So there's a special tool for this also. Again, make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. This tool right here has a little notch on the end. So what we do, we put that right on that anchoring point and we slide this slides right in place. Now the same thing with the other one. We're going to hook it first on that end, then use that leverage we have in the tool. Pop it right on. Then the last thing I'm going to do, give it a couple of hits here to make sure everything seats. Double check to make sure that those, that the, the wheel cylinder pins are in in the brake shoe itself because if that doesn't when you hit the brake pedal if this is not in there you're going to pop the wheel cylinder right off make sure nothing fell apart recheck everything before you put that drum on well actually we're going to adjust now the shoes to our new drum so we're going to go ahead and do that here in a second but this is this is a good time right now to just inspect everything you've done